but I, I wanted to, to do an additional video for people who maybe are really short on money um, and maybe they've got some time in this starter situation where it would click but it wouldn't crank uh, it can be a situation where the the it's it's not getting power through this wire it's not bringing power in from the battery going through to the the starter itself the solenoid comes together and and bridges the power from your your main battery connection to the starter and and it also pulls the gear out the problem isn't that it's pulling it's not pulling the gear out it is the problem is that the contacts inside are corroded and not allowing power to pass That pin in the middle, that pin transfers power. And it, it, it had, this pin had a whole bunch of corrosion on it. And it, you, it was just, I had to chip it away. But I'm gonna go one step further. I'm gonna use a Dremel. And I'm gonna clean that to where it's shiny. And then the other part is here. I didn't clean this yet, but you can still see there's, there's some buildup on the center. I can feel it. That buildup is preventing a solid power, you know, power flow connection. So when I'm done with this, this is going to be clean, like brand new clean, and this pin inside is going to be brand new clean. And that is actually the problem with this starter. It's not the starter itself. So I just wanted wanted to share that with you guys. That it's an old school kind of mechanics thing I'm, I'm not a mechanic but I've you know I've talked to mechanics I had crappy cars 30 years ago when I was in high school so I talked to a lot of mechanics about stuff and uh, that's that's one of the things that they were telling me so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and clean it I'll show you what it looks like when it's done also I'm gonna use it this is basically a Dremel um, if you have a Dremel a Dremel's fine that would be the the preferred tool anyway um, but this is a like a rotary tool that I've, I've attached a Dremel bit to a cup a cup brush and I'm gonna use that to go inside all right so I got all clean none of that uh, that crusty residue in the center is left it's all nice and shiny and clean The same thing. It's a little hard to see um, internally, but it's. I cleaned it up with the Dremel really, really good. So all it takes is. Uh, you might want to put a little bit of uh, grease on here all the way around, but what you do is you you hook. You hook it in, boom, like that, and then. You put it back together with your you line up your two holes for your screws you want to make sure the shorter stem is on the bottom and then we're gonna push it on and tighten the bolts down and it'll be good to go and it, it's might not be a perfect fix might get you might get you a year or two um, until you can get a different vehicle or whatever your case may be All right, so there we go. We got it back together. Tighten that nut down on there. And tighten these two screws back up. All right, I wanted to do a little quick video of what it looks like inside where these starter mounts before I put a starter back in. So you see the teeth, the teeth, that's your flywheel. That's the, where the, the, uh, the gears from the starter will engage. And that's, uh, they look, they look, I don't know, eh, fairly clean. There's a little, there's a little angle on them and that could be from the starter engaging all these years, but the angle's pretty consistent on all of them. So uh, that may be the way it was designed. I've seen some flywheels that are torn up pretty bad, but that flywheel looks good to me. 
so you can see where the the bolt the bolts are for the starter one's here and one's here and then there's a there's an alignment pin that goes here so all right guys just reverse install um, I don't have the I don't have the bolt specs on on the cables you might have to look online for that uh, for tightening the all the bolts back up but uh, I, I've been doing weekend mechanic work for 30 years and uh, I can't recall a time that tightening something tight has come loose on me so uh, I'm sure there, there's uh, torque specs for everything online uh, you might want to check it out thanks for watching hopefully this video uh, made this a simple process for you